the church disputes is this, whether or not they should celebrate, the, and a lot of people are going to say, oh, it's all pagan. It's not all pagan. And uh, basically, the quadradecimin controversy is this, whether or not they should, the church should celebrate the re- resurrection of Christ on a Sunday every year because, he, because Christ rose on a Sunday. Right. Or whether or not they should try to affix it to when the Jews are celebrating Passover, which is the 14th and 15th of Nisan. Now, there is actually some good arguments both ways. And the reason why is because Yeshua didn't rise on the 14th. And therefore, but I'm not saying that that's a good argument on trying to change the Passover. All I'm saying is, is that I understand the disputes, right? Yeshua raises on, on a Sunday. And so... The church want, really works through whether or not they should be celebrating the resurrection on a Sunday or whether they should affix it to a date. And ultimately, I think that there was a little bit of a, we don't want to be associated with the Jews and maybe a little anti-Semitism there. We don't want to be associated with the Christ killers. Okay. Um, so for those of you who think, I believe that I don't think there's any anti-Semitism in the church in the early centuries, I do believe there was anti-Semitism in the church. And I think that this might be one of the instances where we see uh, the church's anti-Semitism come out a little bit. They want to be separated from the Jews and from the synagogue. What the motivation behind their anti-Semitism is, that's a totally different question. Yeah, but it, the was, po- it wasn't, ra- it's not racial. Right. They don't hate It's uh, theological. Uh, people. It's right. It's, they're, they're, same, they're same vitriol against Gnostics, uh, right. against uh, Manichaeans, you know, depending on where, where you go. Anyway, keep so, going. No, so I mean, basically, that's that's what the Quadradecimin controversy is. Now, there were there were Christians who said, "No, absolutely not. We need to be mm-hmm. celebrating the Passover." And ultimately, I think that they were kind of. I'm not fully versed in the Quadradecimin controversy, but I think that they were actually kind of debating two issues without realizing it. And the reason why is because some Christians wanted to celebrate on the 14th. And I think that this was right in terms of wanting to celebrate the Passover or Easter or whatever you want to say on the 14th, when the Lord had his fi- his last supper. And uh, these are things that should be celebrated on the 14th into the 15th of Nisan, right? So th- this is not obviously the Gregorian calendar. We're talking about the Hebrew calendar. However, at the same time, when should the resurrection be celebrated? And should it have been affixed to a Sunday? No, I don't think so. If, if you're going to do anything, you should affix it to the second day of counting the Omer. That's what I would think. But uh, that's not what they decided. And so this is where you have a church split. And uh, ultimately, the quadradecimans get crushed in the end because they are looking too much like the Jews. Do you have anything else to say about that? that I hope that that answers the question. You can go look at Eusebius and his writings on the quadradecimin controversy. You can also look up on Google the quadradecimin controversy. You're going to have a lot of people who just um, condense all of the information and, and give some references to Eusebius as well. Uh, anything else to say on that? Nope. Nope. It, I mean, but it is a, an issue of of it's not it's not just that the you had gentile believers that were just anti-jewish the the jewish groups that are have survived and have a strong institutional stance are the emerging rabbis the rabbis of the mishnah the rabbis who are you know starting to kind of coalesce into a more or less um Chavarat, right? A brotherhood, yeah. right? Of where they kind of have each other's backs against the claims of the gospels. And it's and, and in that culture, you have this transition from the acceptance of the Greek Jewish world and the Greek translations of the scriptures that had spread all throughout the Mediterranean um, and kind of ambivalence towards it. And then as the centuries go by, a, a complete rejection of anything that's Greek and Jewish. Right. Um, and that's, that is uh, because the success of the, the gospel message um, and a desire to insulate from the, the larger world and say, no, you know, we, we are our own people. And anyway, so, so th- it takes two to tango, right? It's not just one-sided, you know, I, I, I don't, uh, like history that uh, that den- uh, the the roots of of Jewish hatred in the in the church, but I equally 
reject views that just paint Jews as just vic like the rabbis were just the victims. Right. No, you can read you can read the Mishnah and the Talmud. I mean, they're, the, yeah, they're the Talmud th says the issue is boiling in excrement. In yeah, they're Hades. trying to chop off the bear's head. They're not just poking the bear. They're trying. They're they're hitting the bear with an axe. So so the idea is it's 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 two sides that are hostile uh, at each other, and there's polemics. And sadly, God's Torah is uh, being neglected in that by both sides. Hang on, just a sec. We are okay. We're back. Um, yeah, try to try to refresh. Um, hang on just a sec. Refresh. The last thing I'll say on this. Okay. Um, the last thing working? I'll say, yeah, the last thing I'll say on this is uh, in response to Brandon's question, he says, why Sunday though? Why not shifting day of the week determined by when the 15th falls each day, each year? By the time Eusebius writes, and by the time the quadradecimal controversy, even er as early as the quadradecimal controversy, the church has moved from celebrating Shabbat or the Sabbath on a Saturday, and they've moved to Sunday. Now, there's multiple reasons why this happens, and I don't think it was malicious. I don't think that they were saying, ha-ha, we hate the Sabbath, we hate the Jews, we're going to move to Saturday. There's reasons why they moved to, or to Sunday, rather. There's reasons why they moved to Sunday. And I think later, they try to give, kind of like the rabbis do, they try to give a theological uh, reason why they've moved to Sunday. But by this point in time, Sunday has become essentially the Christian Sabbath. Now, I'm not advocating for that. I'm not saying that's right. I, I think that that's wrong. And I think the way that they got there is wrong. But at the same time, they see this day as holy. And so they're trying to, uh, they're trying to determine whether or not since this day, once again, not, not saying they're right on this, but uh, the church at this point is trying to say the Sunday is a holy day to us now. So should we celebrate the resurrection of Christ on a holy day or should we do it on the day that it probably happened? Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.